A longtime teacher's aide at a local high school is under arrest, accused of having a sexual relationship with a 15-year-old sophomore. David Winter is at the Claremont County Jail right now with a story that has the community shocked, angry, and saddened, David. Yeah, it sure does, Paula. This suspect is a well-known, well-respected, well-loved member of the Milford School District family. Now she's also an inmate at the Claremont County Jail. She's facing charges of sexual battery and unlawful sexual conduct with a minor. This is not how Milford is used to seeing 44-year-old Denise Nagel. Usually they see her teaching special needs children at Milford High. But police say they got a tip last night that Nagel was having a sexual relationship with a 15-year-old boy who goes to school at Milford. Mrs. Nagel was uh, confronted with all the facts. Um, her, her cell phone was taken. Um, we're going to forensically download that. Uh, but she readily admitted to the offense. Chief Mike Mills says the sexual battery occurred over the last six months. Court documents show they had sex at the suspect's home three times. This is a heinous crime. This is a crime against the youth of, of Miami Township and, and it's, a, it's a scar um, for the school district. First and foremost, um, we are we're, we're disappointed, um, we're disgusted. Superintendent John Spicer sent an email to parents explaining what happened. It's the worst thing that can happen. You know, uh, parents send their uh, students to, to Milford, to our schools, uh, with trust that we're going to give them everything that they need. We went to the neighborhood where Denise Nagel lives with her husband and children, also students at Milford. None would go on camera, all expressed their sadness for the families of the victim and the suspect. The chief described Nagel's reaction when she was brought in. It was almost something that she almost felt relieved to not necessarily tell somebody, but it was something that was probably weighing on her. Mrs. Nagel is being held on a half million dollar bond. Paula? Thank you, David. And the case is now in the hands of the grand jury. If she's indicted, Nagel will face felony charges in common pleas court and could end up in prison for years.